Andrew, go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, what would you think of Kobe getting the honor of second team All SEC? And I know you had, you had mentioned, you know, hoping Javon would get on that list too. Um, what, what was your reaction to to who made it and who didn't? Well, Kobe certainly happy for him, but but not not surprised. I, I thought in some areas he could have been a first team guy, but you know, when when you have you know ups and downs in scoring, because again, oftentimes we gauge on point production in most cases. But his game is more than just scoring the balls, rebounding, facilitating, doing a lot of different things for our team. So, so that that part doesn't surprise me as a second team guy. But you're always grateful to get a guy picked because he put the time into it, he put the work into it. So happy for him. Ben. Council, when you're in a situation like this where you know you've got to win the whole thing and that um, can feel like a <laughs> don't even go there. One game, just trying to win one game. No, just trying to win one game is the most important thing. And if two present itself, get ready to win number two. But most important thing, like I said to the guys, is try to win one game. Because I asked that question, uh, Ben, because I understand certainly where you're coming from. But I asked our guys, that, what, what do we have to do? And all of us, you know, most of them got to go out there and win five games. No, we got to win one game, and one possession at a time. It's the only thing we can control. We can't win five games in one game. We got to win one at a time. And uh, it's not impossible. But the most important thing, let's get, let's get the first one first. Dave? Kanzi, you, you kind of mentioned this after the game Saturday, but it, people always say it's hard to beat the same team three times. Is that, do you think that's true? And what are the challenges of facing Ole Miss a third time? I think the challenge is one, they're, they're a good team, they're a talented team. Uh, just because teams finish at the bottom league doesn't mean they lack talent. You guys saw that just even in Georgia. So you, you have talented teams, but for whatever reasons were sometimes when, when you're struggling to get to the top, uh, uh, maybe flow as a team, uh, chemistry as a team, uh, production, go-to guys, all those things. Not, like I said, our guys, as good as anybody, they can beat you. It's one game. It's the most important thing. You, you never know what level of energies people come into that one game with, focus level, making shot, confidence, whatever it is. Uh, and you just have to be prepared to play the game. Uh, they can score the ball. They can make plays. They have a low post guy that's physical, productive. They have perimeter guys that can make plays. Morales is as good as any two guard in the country. Jordan is back healthy. So they have talent. So no question about it. We have to focus every possession down and do what we need to do to win the basketball game. But, but it won't be easy. But I didn't put more on our guys' plate to understand this is impossible. And I, I didn't really even say to them it's hard to beat a team three times in a row. Though I've been in a situation, you assume that. But just try to go out there and win the game. Mitch. John, so you're I was talking about Kobe earlier on, on Saturday, you know, he, he got into some foul trouble, but was still able to maintain his aggressiveness and, and score 21 points. And you've talked in the past about you don't care so much about guys picking up fouls as long as they stay aggressive. How, how have you kind of seen him grown there, grow in that area? And what do you what do you guys need from him tomorrow? Well, I just need him to be solid on both sides of the basketball. because I, I don't think he's playing at the level defensive that he's capable of on a consistent basis. So you certainly need that. Because, again, he's a guy you ask to play in the post. You ask him to defend on the perimeter. Of course, he's rebounding at a high level. To, but to do a lot of things um, and, and to do it without fouling. I mean, I think that, I mean, he, he understands that part. He has to do that without fouling and be consistent with it on, on both sides of the ball. Because, again, he's bringing the ball up. He's making plays. He's driving the ball. His offensive rebound. He's posting up. Just stay aggressive. Lila. Hey, Kanzo, hope you're doing well. Um, I know, you know, obviously you mentioned taking things one game at a time, but when it's a, a tournament like this, I'm just kind of curious what your guys' approach is as a coaching coaching staff in terms of, um, you know, scouting, especially when you know, like, you know, if you win this game, you guys know who you're facing. Well, what, what we always do anyway, we, we our staff, our three assistant coaches, they, they along with our GAs, but the three assistant coaches scout every third game. So you have somebody already prepared for the next game. He, he has a scout and he's prepared to go whatever we need to get done in that particular scout. Um, and that's how we approach it. Uh, and then you have you have a chance to, to watch. Uh, I mean, I guess not in this case, because you won't be able to watch them because they're not playing. Uh, but you, they're fresh. You know, we play the LSU, so that's fresh in our minds when you're talking about LSU as an opponent. All right. Do we have any other questions? Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you.